All right, Tanner, everyone's been dying to know what your favorite specialty bar is. And I don't know this yet, so we're gonna do a game here, okay? You ready for the game? Let's do it. Here's I love rules. a good game. Here's yeah. the rules. On three, say your favorite specialty bar. Ready? I'm gonna say mine two on three, okay? Right. One, two, three. Oh, we got the same bar. Oh, oh man, we got the same bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one. That's, uh, <laughs> Okay, well that makes this video simpler, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we're really just going to talk about one bar today. Maybe we'll brush on, uh, brush on the other mm. bars. Let's see what you did there. Clean your bars with the, clean the chalk bar the brush. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it. We've got Massonomics Gym. We do have a whole bunch of different specialty bars. We've got Duffalo bars, Buffalo bars, uh, other bars that rhyme with Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> All the bars that end in Uffalo. Uh, we have the Mars bar, we have the Transformer bar, we have the Cadillac bar. It's like the Cadillac of bars, although it's not my favorite specialty bar. Uh, we've got squat and deadlift bars, but not counting those in the specialty bar discussion. Is that, is that safe? Is that I mean, you could, you could count those. I'm not going to be the, the, yeah. the, the rules master here. Okay, I here's think. what I'll say as a caveat. If we're concluding those, my favorite specialty bar is a deadlift bar. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that doesn't, yeah. That, that's the, But not, that's not yeah. the game, yeah. that, or that's, that's not what we're doing yeah. today. We're talking about not the perfectly straight bars. We also have a camber bar. We've bars got that would never be bars. used in competition in any way. Right, right. Um, so the lead FTS, safety squat, yoke bar. Should, Should we get this out? bad boy out yeah, of here? Yeah, let's get it out of here. And we're gonna talk about, I actually don't know what your reason is, and you don't know what my reason or reasons are of why this is our favorite. It is actually kind of coincidental that we both picked this. It's going to make the video about half as long, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Uh, my favorite part is how heavy it is to put into the rack. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of it. Oh. So we've had ours for many years. This is one of the first uh, specialty bars that we bought for Massonomics Gym. And it's probably, I assume we're not alone in picking this as one of our favorite uh, specialty bars. It's one of the most popular specialty bars out there. There's other, multiple other brands that have eventually tried to make a safety squat bar that's very similar to this, or almost exactly, exactly like it. So the question is, why is it my favorite specialty bar? Yeah, the world's dying to know. Let's hear it. Here's why. The trap bars are the specialty deadlift bars. I don't, mm -hmm. I've never had a huge affinity for trap bars. We even have the, what's the Kabuki one called? The, uh, it's not the, the Transformer this, bar. We have um, that big ass Kabuki. Yeah, I can't remember the name bar. of it. It's a really, it HD really, trap bar? Yeah, it's, an, it's a really nice trap bar. But trap bars, I've used it quite yeah. a bit and I've enjoyed it a ton. Right, I thought maybe that could even be your answer, but I don't love trap bars that well in my training. Uh, the other common specialty bars that we have are the, like the bench specialty bars. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what I actually thought you were going to pick. I actually maybe forgot the, about that. Maybe the earthquake bar. That's I could what go I with the earthquake bar. Well, maybe we'll get that an honorable okay. mention. Okay, okay, we'll be that'll be the honorable mention. Um, but as long as we're, we're talking about these, it's not the uh, multi grip bars. I don't. You know, we've got a few different. We've got the cattle. Those are bar, fun, but I've never. FTS those have never been bars. in the favorite territory for we've me. We've got the buffalo bars and duffalo bars, the bent bars that you can use for benching or or squatting. I do like those. I, then, I would, and we'll get into reasons on this when we go a little more in depth here. But I would also, you can make a very strong argument for the transformer bar, the Kabuki transformer bar. Yep. Uh, it's just price wise, I think you're at the point of diminishing returns. That's true. Compared to this bar. Yeah, because we've got, so we've got in this category, we've got the lead FTS safety squat bar. We've got the Mars bar and we've got the transformer bar. We've had all three for several years. I've used all three many times. Uh, I like all three. All three of those are great mm -hmm. specialty squat bars. Yep, couldn't knock anyone for getting no, any of those bars. All have a place. The Mars bar makes it feel much more like a low back squat in comparison to this is a, a separate tool. And the transformer bar, the idea is you can get a variety in all those ranges. I don't know what this even costs anymore. It's maybe like 350 bucks, yeah, 400 bucks. I think it's around bucks. there. I think it's three, three Where something. the transformer bar, I don't know if it's seven or 800 Six, yeah, bucks. Yeah, up there even. And the Mars bar, I think it's like six or $700. I'm just shooting that out there, but they're probably, those are both at least 50, if not almost 100% more expensive than this. And um, I, I like it, part of it's nostalgia. I get that way a lot of, about a lot of the bars and equipment at Massonomics Gym. Once I've used something the longest, I just kind of stand, tend to stick with it. But uh, for a training stimulus, I've always thought that this bar has really helped me. This has helped me with my deadlift as much as it ha has helped me with my squat, I think. You know, I have a tendency to 
want to fold over and collapse when mm. I when I traditional barbell back squat, and I think this emphasizes that and it makes me uh, reinforced not doing that in order to be able to squat this and not just get folded over and pinned to death. Uh, so I think it kind of reinforces what I'm weak at and helps me out there. And then I think there's quite a bit of transfer over to the deadlift, like I said. So that's why in a nutshell, this is me in a bloody nutshell. Uh, that's why in a nutshell, this is my favorite specialty bar. Tommy, what do you think? For me, my philosophy on specialty bars is it's nice to have the bar to work around a weakness. So whether that weakness is actually a deficiency in your training or the weakness is an injury, you know, right. being a physical weakness all, in that case. We've all been there before. We've all been there. And that is why I like this. Squatting is always my favorite lift. And occasionally I fight back problems. And I have learned that with back problems, if I can keep my back as straight and upright as possible, I can continue training while things get better. Yeah. And lifting with this allows me to do that. I can for the most part continue on with training no problem if I can go back to this bar. Plus I think it's a nice variation to add into squats. Uh, yeah. You know, front squats are really hard to load up heavy and let the weight be the limiting factor, not being getting choked out being the limiting factor. Yeah. And uh, with this, That's you can get point. that additional leg day in while you're not doing traditional back squats again. It's right, just another way. Right, because pinning your arms behind your behind your head repeatedly multiple times. On some guys, that can be really squat. hard. That's or, a problem. Or for just me. sometimes it's nice to not do regular squats. Right, multiple, just for the variation. multiple times a week, yeah. yeah just for the so to variation. add in the variation, this is one of my favorite ways to add squat variation in. And I just think they feel great. I've always loved how they feel. This bar, especially in comparison to some other ones on the market, always feels great. The pads hold up really well over time yep. to use and abuse. Uh, so you don't get that feeling where it feels like your uh, collarbones are, are being destroyed underneath the weight of, of whatever you have on right. there. So uh, for that reason, this has always been one of my, or actually my favorite specialty. Yeah, bar. ours has held up really well. Should I tell you about that honorable mention really quick? Yes, let's do that. I'm gonna run over there. Oh, look at him go. That's the guy that's been uh, playing noon ball right it's there. It's my barefoot shoes. Uh, I just wanna give a quick shout out because had we done this video over, I maybe even would have picked this one. It's probably just Because I know you've had, yeah. you're, you're a bench guy and you yep. have had shoulder problems yep. in the past. It's a straight up tie probably for me where that one has all the benefits we talked about. I would say the earthquake bar. We've also got the Rhino Flex bar. That comes in second place in this category to me to the, to the traditional earthquake bar. This is where you hang the uh, kettlebells usually or plates. Weights, or whole, yeah. yeah. Really anything. From bands on the ends of it. I love the earthquake bar. I've used it so much over the years. It allows me to, when I'm having shoulder problems, this barbell allows me to continue to bench press while reducing the overall load significantly but still making it hard and challenging for me. So, so you're getting that training stimulus yep, still. Yep, and I've uh, gone back to that time over time when I have issues and it always helps me. And then when I go back to the regular straight bar, I swear it, this, this I, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know if there is science behind it, but I feel like it can actually make me stronger sometimes for when I go back to the regular bar. So that is the earthquake bar. That's also the earthquake bar in a nutshell. And also not that expensive when we're talking specialty bars. No, I bars. think they're like 300 bucks or something like that mm -hmm. too. So a uh, great tool in the toolkit, if I, if I don't say so myself. Tommy, what do you think? Does that wrap up our specialty bar talk? I think so. All right, we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite specialty bar is. What's the one you use the most and why? Don't just tell us which one it is to make sure we know why so you don't sound like a jackass. And maybe there's a specialty bar we're missing that we need. Yeah, that's what I would love to hear. What specialty bar do we need here at the gym that we don't have already? Because I'm always looking for a reason to buy more bars for the gym. Uh, like the video, hit subscribe on the YouTube channel if you're not, every, not already. Check out the Massonomics podcast. New episodes every single week. Make sure to buy some of our uh, apparel. This one's squat, so it's perfect for safety squat. Yes. But safety squat. What is it, safety squirts. bar or squat? <laughs> Any, there's so squirts. many S's. It's great for squirts. <laughs> That's what it says, squirts. Uh, check it out, we'll see you next time. <laughs>